is what you get for Monza! Ha! Huh? Welcome back to F1 2018, guys. Today we're back in F1, continuing where we left off. Today, we are at the Russian Grand Prix. However, if you missed it, last week we were back in Singapore, and that was a crazy, crazy race. We had three different pit stops. It was absolute chaos. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link to it down below. Anyways, today, like I was saying, we're at Russia. We are bearing down on Daniel Ricciardo for fifth place in the driver's championship. So there's nothing really else to do other than jump straight onto the track. We've still got the fastest car in F1 and we are continuing to work on more upgrades for the thing, which hopefully will make us even faster than we already are. This is one of those tracks that I'm actually pretty good at. However, there is actually a problem with this track though. This track actually loves to eat tires like all the time. We, I, I don't know what tire compounds we're going to be running for the race, however, we are on Hypersofts already, so we're probably going to be going through a few different sets today. Anyways, that's future me to worry about those problems. Today, we've just got to set the best lap time we can in qualifying and try to send it through all the corners. Every time I jump into qualifying, my first lap's always like a little bit of a banker lap, a pretty safe one, and then... For our second one, we usually turn it up a little bit. We'll see how we can do, though, on our banker lap. Maybe it'll be a really good one. Who knows? That will be super, super good. Two corners left to go. Chuck it in. One more. Chuck it in again. I'm usually pretty good through this third sector, but I kind of messy there. 0.1 seconds behind Bottas. That is... That's not too bad at all. I mean, hey, back to the garage. We'll do another one, no talking this time around, and try to set something even faster than that because we really should be first or second. Anyways, the no talking focus lap, let's go. Okay, I've really just got to start doing qualifying laps with no talking because we're about a second green. Kind of crazy. And with that second place, 0.1 seconds behind Nico. Are you kidding me? Oh, that was quick. No way! Lewis went faster than us by 0.2 seconds. So we dropped down to third. Where are the Red Bulls? Red Bulls in fifth and seventh. Okay. Kimmy though, all the way down in ninth place. That's crazy. Sergio Perez and the Force India bipped him. I mean, there's not really much else for us to do between now and the race. So uh, let's go see the race and see what we got. Maybe we'll cross fingers that some people have some penalties today. So let's see, are we gonna get lucky? And maybe, just maybe, like I would say, Lewis has a penalty. No, of, of course he doesn't. So we're still starting third place. We got Max right behind us. We're gonna need to watch out for our wheel spin because if we screw up, that's gonna completely screw us over. Valtteri though, does have a penalty, drops all the way down to ninth place. That's really unfortunate. Sorotkin in his home country in 13th. The Williams not doing too bad with their upgrading. Leclerc all the way down in 19th with Pierre Gasly behind him. So let's take a look at the race strategy. We've got a one pit stop strategy. These You think these tires are going to last until lap 10? We got 27.5 laps of fuel. That should be just fine. And it's going to be completely sunny all day. We got nothing to worry about. All right, let's set the car up for the race. We need ERS on medium. Rev it up. And away we go for the Russian Grand Prix. Hamilton gets a very, very poor start. Nico and I both looking to capitalize. I get pinched between the two. Lewis is off the circuit. I bump my wing on Nico. Can I swing it all the way around from third to first? Hard on the brakes. We touch with Nico again. That is what you get from Monza. Ha! Huh? Bitch! First place! All right, my wing is... My wing's broken. All right, we are going to be really, really slow these first 10 laps, but we are leading the Russian Grand Prix things I did not expect to be saying today. I mean, at least luckily, from first position, we can sort of control everything. We can make the race sort of go at our pace. We can relax and chill a little bit. That's pretty good. So let's let's start managing our battery. If Nico wants to jump us, he can try. All right, he's, ta he's taking that literally, apparently. He's, al he's already... Okay. Well, you're a dick, okay? I really hope he broke his front wing too, but it doesn't look like it. I'm just saying, we've spent all these R&D points upgrading our car, making our car as grippy as possible, as fast as possible, and in comes Nico, 
swinging his huge hammer around, and he breaks my wing. However, I'm gonna be the bigger man, and I'm gonna let Nico stay in first position. I'm not gonna try to fight him because I have the best interest of the team at mind. Uh, somebody had a yellow flag back there. Somebody is out of the Grand Prix. I do not know who that is. Virtual safety car is being deployed. There we go. Lance Stroll is out of the race. Well, it is a William. Well, I mean, it hasn't taken Nico a very long time to run away with this. Oh, and a fr okay. Well, that's uh, that's 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 called DRS. Very good. Nico's going in and setting the fastest lap of the Grand Prix while he's in first. So the man's even pulling away. Okay. I mean, to be honest, my front wing damage really isn't that bad. Like, I'm still totally able to drive. I just need to be a little bit slower. I just need to hold off Lewis until our until our pit stop. Those Lewis and I collide at 300 kilometers an hour. Really good. He's going to have my well. second or my third position. God damn it. Can I send it up here? That's not the best place to overtake. But I get my nose in. We force Lewis wide. He doesn't want to blow up his car. See, he knows. He knows the long game. I sort of got to watch out for... Verstappen, who's apparently got in front of Hamilton by quite a margin as we bump into Verstappen as we get an inch away from that wall there. That would have been race over right there. Okay, keep on him. Don't like know why he let me go up the outside like that. All right, Max. I must say, though, my tires are working really, really nicely for me right now. So I'm just sort of waiting until my pit stop. We're good. Leclerc! No! Buddy! What happened? Lap 9 of the Grand Prix! And I assume he blew up his car because there's no yellow flags, there's no nothing. Oh, Leclerc, no! Oh, Lewis with the DRS! Lewis is finally gonna get it. I don't know where Max went, by the way. Because I, I think he went for a very early pit stop. Went for a little undercut strategy, but... I'm not sure. Alright, well this is the last lap on these tires and with this front wing. So come on. Send it off nicely. Oh my god, look at the power on Lewis. Yo, and he locks it up big time. Things I did not expect. Alright, back up to third. Very nice. Seriously, the power of this Renault is unbelievable. I wonder if us Renault boys are gonna go for a double stack. I mean, we definitely could. Let's see though, come on. Into the pits. Nope, I look to be... The first person to go in, Lewis is staying out for a little overcut strategy. I like it. Wait, did I? I did not know where the line was there. My bad. I'm used to like, like, I feel like there should be like a huge white board. Oh, there is a big white board. All right, well, we're in. Whatever. All right, please fix my car, lads. There's one of the Red Bulls as well. That's Ricardo. Come on. Yes, we got the front wing. All right, I know we're going to be here for a little while, but let's try not to lose too many positions. There goes Danny Rick. Let's get out in front of the Force India. Go! 8.9 seconds? You're having a laugh! The car didn't go! Well, no excuse now. We've saved up our fuel. We've got our nice grippy tires. We are in officially last place in this Grand Prix. Alright, this is about to become not the Raging Bull, but the Raging Renault. And somebody is broken down. I think that's a Williams. Let's take a look. They've broken down on the side of the straight. That is Sorotkin at his home Grand Prix. That is unfortunate. Oh, there is like a thousand people in the pits. We're going to get out in front of one of the Mercedes. We're going to be racing them, actually. There we go. There's past Ocon. I think that's Hamilton right up there. If so... That means we didn't lose that much time. Never mind, it's Bottas. God damn it. All right, that's disappointing. Well, with that, we jump up to 12th. Not too bad. We've got Bottas in front of us now, battling with Paris. They will slow each other down. Actually, they'll just... Are you kidding me? Could we stop trying to crash into me? I'm on simulation damage. I don't know how that didn't blow up my front wing. Yo, would you look at that? Our first proper lap of the race. We go fastest. There we go. That is what I'm talking about. There is another little battle going on up front here between a Ferrari and a Red Bull. See if we can capitalize on that one too. Let's see. Can we go even faster? We can. Are you kidding me? That is a full second faster than the next fastest lap. 
I think it's safe to say we're catching these guys in front of us. Let's go. Well, after everybody's completed their pit stops, I didn't even notice what other time people took their pit stops, but we're up to fifth place. We've got these two guys up here. Oh, it would be good to get on the podium. Well, would you look at that catch-up ability of the Renault. We are right on the back of the Ferrari and the Red Bull. If we could try to stay on the track, that would be, that would be fantastic. But now because of that, we've got some fabulous DRS. There we go. Thank you so much. I mean, we're not even going to go for the overtake this lap. I'm just, I'm just here to charge my battery up. I'm just going to watch my battery go up while I wait. Oh, well, Danny Rick, you're, uh, you're sort of napping, so... I'm in low, low battery, but I can still probably outmuscle you. Let's go. That's the difference a good engine makes right there. Oh, I love it. This thing is so fast. There is my third position. Reel him, reel him, reel him. The Ferrari's got nothing. On the brakes. Uh, I'm going to be nice, going to be nice, going to be nice. Okay, you were off the track there, buddy. Whoa. Okay, I was kind of off the track there too. But I didn't push you off. You you gave me no room. Anyways, now we've got Vettel way up the road and Nico in front of him. We'll see what the lap times are. He's 12 seconds in front. So two laps later, we are now 11.5 seconds behind Vettel. We're really not catching him that much. However, Kimi and Ricardo are both keeping up with me. Both of them are getting DRS every single lap and they're just charging up their battery and they're sticking with me the entire time. It's so annoying. I'm gonna try something really, 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 really risky, but I'm gonna turn my battery off. We're gonna let that charge up all the way to full, and then we're gonna go in maximum attack mode once our battery's on full charge, and then we're gonna try to run away from them. That's gonna be my plan right now. We'll chuck our, actually, let's check our battery up now to high, stick with them, and then we're gonna get our DRS, and we are gonna cruise on by Kimmy. We're gonna turn that up to overtake mode, and we are gone, hopefully. Please be gone. Okay, I'm really, really pushing now. There's no way that they're gonna be able to keep up with us. I wonder if anybody in actual F1 has done this strategy, because it is kind of sketchy to let somebody overtake you so you can recharge a battery there we go is that gonna be enough is that a one second gap i have no idea we'll see down here all the way at the end of the straight if it is it is a 1.1 second gap we have done it turn the battery down to high now we just gotta hold that gap look at that gap to kimmy 2.1 seconds that is exactly what I should have done earlier when I was overtaking him. That's probably something good to keep in mind, honestly. And I mean, hey, look at that with Vettel. We're 10 seconds behind him, so we do actually have a faster car than the Ferraris. That's awesome. It is really, really nice to know that all of our hard work has sort of gone somewhere, which is really good. I will be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that we didn't get a safety car in this race. That would have been amazing, but can't win them all. On to the final lap of the Russian Grand Prix. Final lap, final we pulled lap, away from the Ferrari boys behind. Vettel 11 seconds up the road. Can't do anything about that now. I mean, sure, there weren't that many overtakes, but overall, it was a good race for strategy and stuff like that. It was a fun one. I would love to complain and say this, that, and the other, but Nico gets the dub for Renault. That is amazing. That is going to be a Renault 1-3. So solid. Across the line we go. I, I cannot complain with a third place finish. No way. Feels good to be back up there. We got the Germans with us. Solid, solid. So Lewis finished up 7th. Max all the way in 8th. Damn. So let's take a look at the standings before we end. Nothing's changing even with the podiums. For the drivers, that's crazy. However, for the constructors. Seriously, we're not changing there either? Are you kidding me? Next race is the race we're doing it. We are going to be moving up a couple of places. Until then, though, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of the support on these F1 videos. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe for more. Of course, I'll be playing F1 2019 here on the channel. Until then, though, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!